Hello, Bishop Wooden here. Pray that you're doing well today. And listen, I'm going to tell you something. I'm just going to be straight up. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. If there is anything more exciting than the Word of God, I haven't discovered it. Now, listen, I'm a sports fan. Uh, I'm not going to tell you. Well, I'll tell you. My favorite team is the Miami Dolphins. I've been with them since the 70s. So don't hold it against me. And I'll admit we haven't had a whole lot to talk about for a long time. But hope springs eternal. And maybe someday they'll get back to the Super Bowl. I don't know. Uh, I enjoy basketball. I enjoy uh, sports. Like watching a little MMA. <laughs> Man, I tell you, those people need prayer. And, uh, I, you know, I'm a regular guy just like everybody else. But let me tell you, uh, politics, it couldn't be more exciting than ever, especially this year. I mean, every time you turn the television on, there is something new. Uh, whether, whether it's been bombs sent out, protests, people not able to eat at restaurants, policies being passed, uh, differences of opinions, uh, all kinds of things. You know, we're in a day now where we demonize our opponents and we don't acknowledge that there's just two, maybe there's two separate ways to approach a thing. Maybe, you know, uh, one person may believe that uh, to approach the, 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 the poor, you, you come at it from uh, this, uh, uh, this manner, you, you, you attack it from one way and maybe someone else thinks we should do something else and we just disagree on how we should do it. But we live in a day now where if you don't agree with my approach and I say that you don't even care about poor people and you hate poor people and, and if I don't agree with your approach then you say I hate them and, and I think things like that is adding to the discourse uh, of our, our country it's not good for us but we'll see how things turn out but with all these things movies, sports, politics you name it all these things that's going on nothing, nothing is, is as exciting and as powerful and as real as the Word of God. And my friends, tonight I'm going to show, we, we're going back to the Bible. You know, I think this is my 25th message in the Sermon on the Mount. And I've spent three services on uh, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 17. Think ye not that I come to destroy the law and the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Listen to this. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. That is, until all that is predicted has happened. And it's exciting to see the tomorrow's morning headlines. It's exciting to see them written in the pages of this book. Even before the headlines of tomorrow and next month and next year and so forth and so on are written, they are already recorded in the pages of this book. You just got to read it. You just got to study it and you got to and you got to love it. And I pray that you come out tonight and join me. And those who are watching this, not everybody who gets this uh, advertisement are able to get to the upper room. We will be Facebook Live tonight. We're going live. We're going live. Now, if you're home, if you're in the area, come to church. But if you can't get here, we're going to do Facebook Live. We're excited about uh, getting the word of the Lord out there. And it's not that exciting, you know. There's, there's no, we're not going to hoop and shout. You won't hear all of the, the music and the, all of that. But we're going to study the word. And my friends, I want you, if you haven't already, and many of you have, and I applaud you for it, and you know that I know uh, who and what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, I want to challenge you to de just develop an appetite for the Bible, the Word of the Lord, the Bible. Too many preachers, too many believers today, my friends, have become bored with the Bible. We need to know what the Bible says. Because the Bible is right. Now, I'll see you tonight right here for Bible study at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Make it a good day.